Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6. Well, it was a beautiful summer day in Spokane, but it might be the last one we can enjoy, at least for a little while. The hottest weather of the year is on its way. Meteorologist Matt Gray tracking these temperatures. Matt, we've waited all year for the triple digits, and it's coming up. It is. <laughs> I had to do it. Yeah. I know. It, it hurts. hurts. So some serious heat on the way, and, uh, well... We usually average one day of 100 degrees per year, and it looks like Tuesday is going to be the day. Last, or rather yesterday, when we were talking, chance for it was about 50-50, right? Well, now we're up to our chances about 80% or so to see 100 degree weather around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene as we head into Tuesday, and our chances on Wednesday are going up as well. So this is some serious heat for the first time in well, just about a year around the inland northwest. Here's how things are going to play out. We'll be back into the 90s on Sunday. We've got upper 90s in the forecast for Monday. Warm overnight temperatures. Some spots will only get down to around 70 degrees. That doesn't help cool off your house at all. And then we come to Tuesday where, yes, we're officially calling now for 100 degrees Tuesday afternoon. And with the buildup of this heat, Tuesday, it's just going to be miserable. So a weather alert day, severe conditions you need to know about, and it really doesn't get all that much better as we head into Wednesday. An excessive heat watch is up for the entire inland northwest. Now is the time to start thinking about what you're going to do to make sure that you stay cool over the next few days. I've got some tips for that. Plus, we have to talk about what happens when we start to cool off and that's coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Matt, we'll check back with you in just a bit. Spokane Valley firefighters battled another fire in the Dishman Hills Natural Resources area off of Appleway Boulevard near Dishman Micah Road. On Tuesday, several fires were started in the same area. The fire was approximately 30 feet by 30 feet in size and spread to 150 feet by 150 feet. The Spokane Valley Fire Department was able to contain the fire. The Ridge Creek fire burning near the north tip of Hayden Lake is now 8% contained. That fire is a little less than four square miles in size. And there, this is where it is on your screen there. You can see burning along Hayden Creek Road. Fire crews and heavy equipment operators have made great progress on the fire line, but with the change in weather conditions, they expect this fire could get bigger. Alerts have been sent out to those living near Bunko Road and Hayden Lake to get ready. A community meeting is scheduled for tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. For more information, you can click on this story on our website, kxy.com. Well, summer is winding down. It's almost time for students to go back to the classroom, and Washington State students are packing up their cars and making their way to Pullman. With roads getting busier, Washington State Patrol officers are increasing their presence to ensure that everybody makes it back to campus safely. Our Bronte Sorotsky rode along with a state trooper to see the approaches that they're using to keep these drivers safe. Although we're still a few weeks away from classes for WSU students, they're already starting to head back to the area. And that's why WSP is taking extra measures to make sure that everyone is being safe out on the road. Yeah, I think presence is the number one thing out there. From now until the 20th, WSP troopers will conduct traffic safety emphasis patrols, meaning you might see more troopers on the road. We're just trying to show a little bit more presence out there and, and help keep people driving a little slower. According to WSP, speeding is one of the leading causes of accidents statewide. In District 4 near WSU, fatal crashes have nearly doubled compared to last year, up 93%. You obviously can't slow everybody down, but if you can get the majority of the, the traffic slowed down, your chance of a collision is greatly reduced. If you see a trooper out or if you get pulled over, they want you to know they aren't just trying to give out tickets. Not everybody needs to get a ticket, but it is good to pull over speed and those other violations and and just talk to people and, and remind them that we are out here and that, you know, we need to slow down a little bit. It's not just speeding they're looking out for either. Yeah, distracted driving is a big one. So are seatbelts. It's a big one for us, um, just based on my time as a trooper 
almost every single fatality collision that I've been to has been seatbelt related. And while getting pulled over or even getting a ticket is no fun, WSP says their main goal is to make sure that everyone returns to campus safely. Reporting in Colfax, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. A good reminder there, Bronte. Thanks for that. Tonight, the Bonner County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help in finding a missing, endangered one-year-old boy. Forrest Brubaker is one year old. He has blonde hair and brown eyes. The Sheriff's Office believes he's with his non-custodial mother, and they could be traveling in a white 1997 High Ace camper van or a blue 2011 Toyota RAV4. Both those license plate numbers on your screen there. Police say the mother has contacts in Washington and could be heading to Mexico. Anyone with any information or if you see either one of those cars, you're asked to call 911. A man is in Spokane County Jail tonight charged with the deaths of two people he allegedly killed in a crash. Trent Avenue was shut down for several hours yesterday. Spokane police say Kelly Dawkins was possibly drunk when he tried to merge onto Trent. That's when he hit a car going westbound. Both the driver and the passenger of that car were killed. A utility truck swerved to avoid the crash and was also hit. Spokane police have not yet identified the victims and we don't know the condition of the driver of that utility truck. Kelly Dawkins is charged with two counts of vehicular homicide. The man accused of killing four members of an Idaho family will be in court on Wednesday. Major John Kaler is charged with four counts of premeditated murder. He's accused of killing his neighbors Kenneth and Kenna Guadapi and Devin and Aiken Smith. His preliminary hearing is set for this upcoming Wednesday. A preliminary hearing allows each side to present ev evidence so a judge can determine if there's enough to move the case forward. The prosecutors could also use a grand jury to indict Kaler, which is what happened in the Koberger case. Prosecutors have already said they won't seek the death penalty, but if convicted, Kaler faces life in prison. 4 News Now will be bringing you the very latest on Wednesday. To stay up to date, you can download the KXLY 4 News Now app on the app store of your device to receive push notifications of that information as we get it. Still to come here on 4 News Now, a home explosion in Pennsylvania it leaves a neighborhood uh, charred. What we know about this developing story so far. And an annual art piece is on display on the Palouse. Get a bird's eye view in tonight's Air 4 adventure. And it's not just that we're going to see long-term heat and the potential for heat illness across the inland northwest. We also have to talk about fire danger and perhaps the fire danger may end up being worse as we start to cool down. I'll explain why coming up in your first alert forecast. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. America, it's the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of Ford trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need. Lock in great rates and get 1,000 trade assist cash on a 22 Escape or 23 Bronco Sport. Only at your local Ford dealer. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief from the world's number one nerve care company. Nervive contains ALA to relieve nerve aches and B-complex vitamins to fortify healthy nerves. Try Nervive and try Nervive Pain Relieving Roll-On. Sometimes Jonah wrestles with falling asleep, so he takes Zequil, the world's number one sleep aid brand for a better night's sleep. So now he wakes up feeling like himself, the reigning family room middleweight champion. Better days start with Zequil Nights. Parkour! You know, you've got it pretty good. Swimming this much stuff was never this easy. Yes! yes. Let's go. Nice eye thingies. They're collagen boosters. Get internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $19.99 a month for 12 months. And add now TV for $20. It's the best value in live TV and streaming. You guys like this show too? Yes, chef! Sure. Get way more into what you're into when you stream on the Xfinity 10G network. At Kaiser Permanente, we care for all those who make your family, well, your family. That's why all of us work together to give them the care and caring that any family would. Kaiser Permanente, for all that is you. What's up at DQ? That guy's going fry first on a $7 meal deal. Ooh, or is it dessert first? These two are debating which $7 meal deal, with fries, drink, and a sundae, is the best full-size meal deal of all. Cheeseburger. 
chicken strips. And he can't believe he got a full-size meal for just seven bucks. Can't believe I got a full-size meal for just seven bucks. That's a $7 meal deal. And that's what's up at DQ. Happy tastes good. Imagine if information came with a nutrition label. Then you'd know if what you're consuming has the right mix of facts, sources, and context. But it's on us to make healthier choices about what to consume, share, and act on. Get Newslet Fit at newsliteracyweek.org. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. Lease a well-equipped 2023 F-150 for just $3.99 a month, only at your local Ford dealer. Ford News Now is brought to you by Perfection Tire. Welcome back. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration issued a warning for certain products that test for pregnancy, ovulation, urinary tract infections, and other conditions. The manufacturer, Universal Meditech uh, Incorporation, has stopped all operations and is no longer providing support for the tests. The company has recalled undistributed tests, but not those that are already in the hands of consumers. The FDA advises anyone with the tests to throw them away, as they say they may not be safe or effective. The tests may have been distributed under brand names such as AC and C, Healthy Wiser, Home, Home Health US, and Prestige Biotech. It's unclear why the manufacturer stopped operations. And for a full, full list of products, you can visit the medical device safety page at FDA.gov. Every afternoon, I come here into this office and I take a look at lots of computer models and things like that and smash it all together and give you, hopefully, the best forecast that I can give to you, right? Well, each day that I've been coming in here this past week and looking at the numbers, the temperatures for this upcoming week has just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. That's the case again today and why we've gone ahead and saying and put 100 in the forecast for Tuesday. Here's the range that we're talking about right now. High temperatures Monday anywhere between 95 and 98. High temperatures Tuesday between 100 and 104 falling somewhere in that range and it continues on into Wednesday and into Thursday. Long term heat takes a cumulative effect, especially if you don't have air conditioning in your house. So if that is you, I got a couple tips for you. This excessive heat watch because of the long term heat here from Monday through Thursday continues for four days across the inland northwest. So if you don't have AC, got to head somewhere in the afternoon or the evening, the hottest time in your house so you can cool off, get your body recharged and then well, head back into the fans blowing mostly hot air around the area or around the house. I certainly have had that experience before. I think we all have at some point. Malls, libraries, even just going out to eat for a little bit and just letting your body cool down. It will make a huge difference. Staying hydrated too, checking on your neighbors if they don't have air conditioning and going outside. If you do have AC or even if you don't, early in the morning, late at night, staying away from those hottest parts of the day. And go ahead and throw open those windows tonight and let in some cool air because this is really going to be one of our last opportunities. It's already going to be feeling warmer tomorrow night. So enjoy the 50s and have some of those windows open. Tomorrow afternoon, highs around 92 in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, triple digits in the LC Valley. LC Valley, it's not going to be a good week. Just. Not at all. There's no way around it. Let's fast forward here and I want to show you what we're talking about extended exposure to heat. So this is about lunchtime and you can see on Monday it's already close to 90 degrees in Spokane and in Coeur d'Alene and it stays above 80 degrees through around midnight or so and that's just Monday. Think of how long things are going to stick around when you have to get into Tuesday and that very hot weather. So will continue to heat up through Tuesday. It's going to stay pretty hot on Wednesday. It's going to take a while to, for everything to cool down. But we have some relief on the way in the form of some cooler air and potentially some wet weather as well coming in for the weekend. However, that change also brings gusty winds. And so I am concerned about fire danger after all of this heat as we head into the Thursday, Friday and next weekend as well. So that's going to be something we're going to be watching very closely in the days ahead. Well, we sure will, Matt. Thanks for that information there. You're looking at a neighborhood in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is the aftermath of a house that exploded this morning. Authorities in Allegheny County say that the explosion in Plume destroyed one home and flames from that blast destroyed two other homes. 
The explosion damaged more than a dozen residences, and authorities say several people ended up in a hospital. One person is dead. And first responders are on the scene searching for more possible victims buried under the debris. At least three people are still unaccounted for. The cause of this explosion still under investigation. The Iowa State Fair is in full swing and Republican presidential candidates used that time to court the first in the nation voters, but to really sway the voters of Iowa. 14 candidates are flipping pork chops, chowing down on fried food and making their pitch directly to voters. Five months out from the Iowa caucuses, Donald Trump still has a commanding lead. Although he's facing numerous indictments, Republicans are looking to turn the focus away from the Trump investigations and onto Hunter Biden. As President Joe Biden seeks re-election, his son is facing legal challenges of his own. Attorney General Merrick Garland has named Trump appointee U.S. Attorney David Weiss of Delaware as special counsel, giving him independent oversight over his years-long investigation into the president's son. Mr. Weiss has the authority he needs to conduct a thorough investigation and to continue to take the steps he deems appropriate independently. In court filings, Weiss tells the judge that two sides are at an impasse in plea negotiations, signaling that the president's son may soon be headed for trial. Hunter Biden's attorneys have until Monday to respond. New at six tonight, Another major milestone for Buffalo Bills safety, DeMar Hamlet. He played in his first preseason game since going into cardiac arrest last January. Hamlin made three tackles during the home game against the Indianapolis Colts. One of those plays helped stop a Colts drive dead in their tracks. Doctors cleared Hamlin to resume football activities last April. And he has steadily made progress, rejoining his teammates during the preseason. Hamlin told reporters back in April he still has love for the game and... His getting back on the field is something he wants to prove to himself and nobody else. Great story there. Stick around. We'll be right back with more from Pullman. Alex Crescenti, Julian Minnenson, we're at the Washington State uh, sp uh, scrimmage, and we hear from the players who shines in our report from Pullman. Coming up in sports. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Lazy dinner. Italian style fried rice. Fashion and entertaining. When Rachel and I hang out at home together, this is usually what we do. Mixed Rachel. Watch Rachel Monday at 3 and 4 News Now at 5. 4 News Now Firewatch coverage. That fire has grown exponentially. With resources on TV, online, and on the go with the 4 News Now app. Firewatch coverage to keep you safe. That's what we mean when we say expect more on 4 News Now. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups or get 5,100 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. I have type 2 diabetes, but I manage it well. It's a little pill with a big story to tell. I take one daily Jardiance. At each day start, as time went on, it was easy to see. I'm lowering my A1C. Jardiance works 24-7 in your body to flush out some sugar. And for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease, Jardiance can lower the risk of cardiovascular death, too. Jardians may cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis. Taking Jardians with sulfonylurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Jardians. From the very beginning, we've been taught safety is very important. It's an act of love. When we're on the road, every action we take gets everyone to a safer place. Each of us can make a difference. Slow down. Ride sober. Get endorsed. Get training. Alone, we are strong. Together, we are stronger. And together, we get there. 
Well, we're almost there. We're three weeks away from the start of college football season. Washington State is gearing up for game one against Colorado State in Fort Collins. Julian Minnesota and Alex Rosenti join us from Pullman to tell us how things are coming together for the Cougars. So the Washington State Cougars finish up their first scrimmage of the fall, first time inside Martin Stadium. Uh, some good, some not so good, but that's expected, especially scrimmage one. Nothing was going to be perfect today. Yeah, they still got you know, a three weeks before opening kickoff at Colorado State. So you have time to work out to the kinks. But, you know, if you're a big fan of defense, you would have liked what you saw. If you're a big fan of the offense, maybe a little bit of a concern. But then again, hey, this is just the first scrimmage. We still have a lot of time to figure things out and where the pieces are going to land. It's hard sometimes in a scrimmage to really feel the flow, who's in there, what, what's going on. I thought offensively we started out just a touch slow, and then we kind of really picked it up and, and rev through it once we get into it. So tempo has got to be a huge part of our offense. I think Cam commanded it well. Then he made some really, really good throws. Uh, I got to see the you know, the film, but offensive line, I thought, protected it really well with that ones group. And we still got to get Lee Lee and Christian back. So I think there's a lot of positive things. One bright spot of the offense was the running back room. No Nakia Watson. He was sitting out today so Cougars fans can breathe. There's nothing wrong with injuries on that front. He'll be ready week one. But Jalen Jenkins and company, they were really good um, moving the ball up and down the field of the run game. Yeah, when you think of Washington State, you don't necessarily think of the run game here, but they've really built quite the running back room. A lot of depth there. So, like you said, if you do have a situation where Nakia can't go, you can be a little confident knowing that, yeah, there's someone that can step up as always. All of us know what we're doing. Like, we work on it every single day. We're going to go through each practice, like, just going no matter what. Even if someone's sitting out, we're going to learn off each other and keep building off of that. Week two is in the books, and now we go into week three of fall camp for Washington State. And the big thing this week, amongst all the conference realignment talk, the Cougars will have night practices for the first time in fall camp. They were just one in three in night games last season. So stay tuned for that. You can get coverage right here on 4 News Now. But for now, reporting inside Martin Stadium in Pullman, Julian Minnesota. That's Alex Crescenti. 4 News Now Sports. A lot of big games we're all excited for. Thanks, guys. It is harvest time on the Palouse. Thousands of acres of wheat being harvested from the rolling hills. And there's another yearly event happening in one of those fields. WSU's annual Crop Art Mural. That mural is tonight's Air Force Adventure. Right now we're in the middle of harvest. It's the best farm ground in the, in the whole United States. We've got nice rolling hills. We get 20 to 24 inches of rain usually is enough to raise decent crops and uh, it's just a great place to be. We're about a mile and a half west of Pullman. False Brothers Farms, which is a conglomerate of quite a few different ones. I live right here, we farm about 1,200 acres. And then all together we farm four or five times that. Oh, of course I'm a kook. I went to school there and graduated in 1970 in agronomy. The artist, he uh, is the one who came by and thought that I had a good spot for it, you know, because it's right where the intersection goes into Pullman and you turn and you look right at our fields. He just thought it was a good spot, and he liked it, and I said, hey, yeah, let's do it. You know, there's a lot of terms for it. I like agroglyphs, you know, carving on the ground. The ancient people have done it forever. I've been an artist since I was, you know, I, I was an artist in school, in the family, and an artist uh, in high school, and then went off to Wichita State on an art scholarship, and then uh, started to do the earthworks when I was about 22. So I'll be 73 in, uh, I guess, a few days. So with this wheat stubble, we basically knock it down and we have a wheat stubble background. That's the color that, we, that remains in the image because for an image to adapt well visually to the, to the landscape, you need some of the landscape in the image. So it doesn't look like we just went up there with a spray gun and painted an image. We want it to look natural. We want it to look like it's supposed to be there and not just a fake. If you think about it, the compost we're using is detritus material from this whole area brought in, condensed down to this beautiful dark compost, and we spread that back on the ground, which is good for the ground, but it also brings all of that history back onto the piece.
Plus now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Ace Hardware. Fresh produce is the best produce. That's why at Fred Meyer, we invest in local farmers to bring you the freshest seasonal picks. So no matter how you shop, your local produce always tastes as fresh as it gets. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. Beat the heat. Always water before 10 a.m. or after 6 p.m. You didn't live this strong, this long, to get put on the shelf like a porcelain doll. If you have postmenopausal osteoporosis and are at high risk for fracture, you can build new bone with Avenity. Ask your doctor if you can do more than just slowing down bone loss with Avenity. Want stronger bones? Then build new bone. Ivenity can help in just 12 months. Ivenity is proven to reduce spine fracture risk by 73%. Ivenity can increase risk of heart attack, stroke, or death from a cardiovascular problem. Do not take Ivenity if you have low blood calcium or are allergic to it. Serious allergic reactions and low blood calcium have occurred. Tell your doctor about jawbone problems as they have been reported with Ivenity or about pain in your hip, groin, or thigh, as unusual thigh bone fractures have occurred. Don't let a break put you on a shelf. Talk to your doctor about building new bone with Avenity. So you want somewhere to play? We got you. A nice, relaxing stay? We got you. Want to be entertained? We got you. Want to play golf all day? We got you. Go to Lake Casino. The winning is just the beginning. It's the $180,000 plus van life giveaway. Saturday, September 30th, you could drive away with a new 2023 Pleasure Way Tovino van and $7,000 in cash. Start earning entries August 1st. Visit cdacasino.com for details. Go to Lake Casino. The winning is just the beginning. <laughs> Zach was diagnosed with leukemia. He died of the therapy meant to save him. The Dare to Dream Project is transforming treatment and care for kids with blood cancer. The Dare to Dream Project from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. My advice to all the fathers out there, they grow up way too fast for you to waste even a single precious moment. At Fred Meyer, everyone wins when it comes to savings because you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards on pickup or delivery as you do in store. So no matter how you shop, everyone saves big. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. With some clear skies tonight and just a little sliver of moon, it is a perfect time to, well, catch the Perseum meteors tonight. Find a spot that's clear light pollution. Allow about 20 minutes for your eyes to adjust, and you'll see some meteors, perhaps a lot of them if your sky is dark enough, out of the northeast. The peak of this shower is tonight, but of course for the next several nights you can catch a glimpse. Well, take some photos, send it to us. You can be picture of the night yeah. tomorrow night on the news. We'll see ya. Download the 4 News Now app today. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.